Hello, everybody. This is Matt, also known as TechnoX from TechnoX Royalty Free Music on my gaming channel. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, this is my second and probably last in a while Minecraft video. Uh, the reason is uh, I feel like I can do a survival mode, but to be honest, when I build projects like this, it tends to take a lot of my time. And sometimes I feel it takes a little bit more time away from my music and my family than really I should be actually spending time with, especially when this is not my full-time job, neither is my music, but my music comes first uh, um, when it comes to YouTube. It should come first because I know that's what you guys are all about, what you're, what you're actually here for. And this gaming channel, channel is kind of on the side. Nevertheless, um, I wanted to show you kind of what I've been working on, this brand spanking new castle, and then kind of leave it by the wayside, and we'll continue on to other games, though. I've been playing Mandagon, and I will present another another video if you guys like Mandagon, and uh, let me know if you guys actually like that series, or what kind of games you would actually like me to play. Uh, I haven't really done FPS in a long time, so we'll, we'll go from there. And let's just get, jump right into like showing what this castle is all about. So this this castle was built right by a town. Uh, this town had a lot of villagers when I started this castle. And through no fault of my own, it is now empty because the zombies have either zombified or killed the villagers. So that's very sad, but it's a kind of a nice backdrop to the actual castle itself. Um, taking a look at it, uh, there's a like the garrison that I have before it, or I built before it. Uh, this castle is kind of divided into a civilian area where you can get a lot of civilian business done, and then also there's kind of a military government section up here where all the soldiers and the government personnel basically hang out. Um, I guess you can kind of pinpoint that to a limitation of my imagination. It's just that if if, if I'm building a castle that's uh, you know supposed to basically host a kingdom, uh, you kind of want to have a little bit of security to back yourselves up in case any enemies or bad guys show up to make a little bit of trouble. But in any case, what we have here is basically the only entrance to the castle. And this is where everybody, including military and civilians, basically enter in. Uh, the civilians go this way, uh, where there is a bunch of shopping here. And these are basically two different wings of military personnel, where you can climb up and you basically um, do military activities and stuff like that. You know, guard the castle. Um, you know, be briefed by your commander or whatever, and keep the kingdom safe, right? Okay, so basically what you get here when you first enter, this is kind of like mall security, right? Where the mall security guy comes up and tells you exactly where you're at in the mall and where you go to maybe get some armor or some books. <laughs> and to get in this place, basically go back here you've got a metal door that you slide into and we've got our very own lava lamp it's great for heating indoors when it's cold and also lights the way when it's dark um, but yeah it's it's fairly roomy for a, a security booth uh, I, I would not complain if I were a security guard uh, but uh, pretty pretty stylish too it's got some nice little roof work here that's uh, um, not just uh, um, kind of like a, you know straight uh, slabs here and everything like that. Storage space, I gotta admit, I did not fill the chests in this castle with anything. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate this newest expansion for that one feature, right? Look, look, Minecraft, I did not need a feature to auto jump me one block when I could have used the space bar. It, it ends up being more of a hassle than a convenience, I gotta say. So anyways, this is the main shopping area here. Obviously we have kiosks that I've kind of set up here for people to set up shops and some major shopping areas here as well. Um, 
I designed it to be nice and cavernous because I saw a lot of caver uh, uh, of like spaces like Dan TDM where the the spaces are absolutely massive um, for a lot of people to hang out in. And I figured if you had like a nice massive like shopping area that could fit a lot of people, you know, maybe you could, uh, people could take this map and make something of it where people basically hang out and 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 converse and, or, or do whatever with a Minecraft server. Uh, so yeah, and then you've got like kind of like outdoor areas that are, are fenced off but basically you make it so you're not just inside cooped up all day when it's nice. Um, you have these uh, little vistas that are fenced off and you can kind of like roam around and see what's going on. You can have a nice view of kind of the bottom of the, the major king's uh, tower right there. That's the king's tower right there. This is basically a soldier's um, hangout. Uh, you've got the uh, wings here. And then you've got like an officer's quarters here. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll bring you through here uh, when we get there and everything. Anyways, back here, obviously we've spawned the creeper because we didn't uh, have enough light. But once again, I wanted aesthetics over like practicality in terms of Minecraft and everything like that. Uh, but in any case, what these are, are basically apartments. Uh, for the shopkeepers and like you know the the groundskeepers and stuff like that you get a, a double bed with some storage space and a basic sink for basically washing to wash you basically dunk your hand and you come up and uh, your hair is clean apparently you've got a little bit of a, like a cabinet space here as well all of these apartments are basically uniform uh, to make it look pretty but uh, these corner ones are kind of, uh, they're, they're more deluxe. As you can see, you get uh, a bed here as well. And then you've got a couch and then a double sink. So you can both dunk your heads and everything like that. And then you get another like kind of small love seat as well. And so obviously the party deck kind of shields you from the rain. You don't you don't actually get these sounds from there. But in any case, um, for the civilians civilians to go up a, a level, this is actually military access only. But this is the staircase that goes up uh, to other levels on the civilian quarters here. Uh, we have more apartments over here that are. are furnished as well with your own sink that you can dunk your head in you've got nice plush couches that you can hang out in and uh, uh, then you can go upstairs to the party deck and these are not actually apartments but they're hotel rooms oh jeez. yeah these are like basically uh, hotel rooms that guests can kind of hang out in if they want to travel to the castle and they've got enough money. The, let's not do this one actually. Let's do this one because it's lit properly because I didn't forget the lamps. Uh, there are so many, there's like 30, uh, there's like 20 of these apartments that you can basically rent. Uh, I've got a double sink that you can dunk your head in. Uh, massive space and a double bed and everything like that. It's just basically, it looks nicer and it's got more accommodations and it's got a great view of the back of the uh, castle here, which you can see the great pouring rain in. Uh, but let's not actually take that. Let's go and clear out the weather so it's better. So you can, guys can see the party deck without actually being bothered by the rain here. And this is the party deck out here. And there are several things that you can do with the party deck. One, you can look up at the king uh, at, yeah, on top of the king's tower so he can like spew his like vapid speech about how great the kingdom is or whatever. Uh, but you've also got a DJ pit here, which you've got two turntables and a microphone, except there's no microphone. Instead, you've just got two turntables. 
but you come in here you can basically spin whatever you want to make the people out there dance uh, there's uh, several places to hang out here you've got the uh, got the deck space out here which you can probably mingle and you can go out here and this is the bottom of this is the right end of the, the shopping area over here but you can kind of look around here and just like see exactly what's out here you've got a lot of Great views of all the, the the mob spawning, a lot of creepers, a lot of like skeletons, a lot of like you know stuff like that. And then, of course, this is the party deck over here. This is where people dance. You can see it's very square-ish. It's got an '80s retro feel to it. And then you've got a bar, and this bar also has a great view of the front. The drink mixes are handled by the, the, the potion stands here. And you've got a nice array of like sinks and mixing areas. And then you can take your drinks out to your customers from here to here. And it's all great. Everybody's happy until somebody drinks too much. And then it's not so much. But that's it. Okay, so this is the left wing and this is the right wing. And both of them house exactly the same way. The, I made them to mirror each other almost exactly. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this one right here and just know that everything is kind of mirrored almost exactly over here. I did that way just for aesthetic appeal and it seems a little bit, you know, it seems to standardize things. So let's go up here. This is the left security tower. And you go up here, these massively secure stairs, which will not drop you because there's railings everywhere. And the first thing we come to is kind of like an arrow slot. So back in the Middle uh, Ages, uh, the castles had um, slots on their, their towers, their turrets. And basically, they used those slots to fire ar arrows out of. Um, They're nice and long and thin, so you could fire out them. And people who were firing back stood a a uh, much worse chance of actually hitting you and everything like that. So you can basically do that and hit peoples and just kill one more zombie just for the heck of it. Oh, that was a pig. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You should have been in front of that zombie anyway, you pig. Ah. Anyways. Let me know what a great shot. I'm not. I am not a great shot at all. I am, that's, all right, that's, that's enough. Anyways, that's what that's all about. We can got, kind of go back up here, and the next thing that we find is kind of a viewport to the outside of the castle here on the left. Uh, let's see, that is east and that is west, so that must be north. This is the north side. So this is the north tower here, the north wing, I guess you could say. So um, we're going to go that to that a little later. But this is kind of like a um, an access way to the front deck here of the military parade. And basically this is where you can kind of, it's basically the absor observatory deck where you can kind of see if any bad guys are coming up and approaching your one and only gates and everything like that. And you have an access also from the north to the south wing as well. Uh, so it's pretty easy to do and you've got this nice little clear parade deck where um, you can kind of see through to everything also on the civilian side I did have those um, uh, I did have those uh, clear uh, floors as well um, and I kept some of the ground just for like the scenery sake but anyways okay so what we have here uh, starting here is basically a planning deck where you can plan your actions or whatever but you have a nice big kitchen and this kind of goes along with the kitchen that I had with the garrison in this world the garrison has a, an underground kitchen but it's not quite as big as this we have two massive preparations tables a place where you can do the dishes and also I'm not sure what this is but I thought it was nice you also have a nice array of ovens that you can cook a lot of stuff at the same time because you have a lot of people to feed on this wing. And then also with the garrison, I had a freezer. So I decided to build another freezer 
per wing so you can have a nice big amount of storage space um the only thing is i did not actually like store anything here quite yet it's just set up to basically look like a freezer Uh, everybody who's worked in a restaurant knows like what a freezer is like. It's basically kind of cold. Here, hold on. I'd like you. I'd like to. I mean, I'd let you guys hear the rain, but like, I'd like to speak over the rain, or you know, be heard instead of being talked over by thunder and everything like that. So, um, also accessible by the tower over here uh, but there's a stairwell obviously that I went up here is this is basically a parade deck where a lot of these soldiers hang out you have a nice massive dining hall here where people can eat and then we go into the actual living areas here these are offers officers quarters that's not a quarters that's actually a uh, central heating actually and that if you are above here if you're flying above here you'll see like a chimney that kind of corresponds to this and then we've got um, like officers quarters here you got a, a, a it's a little bit nicer than what the enlisted people have but not by much but you get like a bed uh, you get like a wardrobe you got couches and then you've got storage space and kind of a view down to the party deck you can, is there a horse there? What the heck? What is that? Whoa! Holy crap! What the crap is this? I've never seen this before, so, uh... <laughs> that genuinely scared me. <laughs> what are you peoples? Like, you just, like, got struck, like, by lightning, and then you multiplied everything? Ah, oh, that's, um, yeah, okay, all right, well, welcome to the party, I'm gonna have to, I wanna actually see if you guys, aren't you enjoying this, what are you doing? Um, wow, this is, I would not like to, okay, what do you, what kind of helmet is this, is purple, what is this? Oh, it's enchanted. I see. Okay. You guys are fancy. All right. I'm going to leave you guys. Sorry about killing your brother there. But uh, welcome to the party deck. Don't drink too much. Anyways. I thought I had set the weather bad too. Or the weather too, like clear too. So anyways. Whoa. Okay. So I was basically showing you guys where the officer's deck was. Sometimes the frame rate drops because there's so much going on here that, like, as Rick, uh, that Rick guy from Star is so dense, every last frame is filled with, like, blocks of every kind. You can't even miss it. So, you know, don't, I'm not George Lucas, though. Don't, don't hate on me, please. Anyways, what this is, is one of three enlisted decks here, each uh, deck. Uh, that is here houses 24 soldiers right here as you can see it's there this is um, the second deck and the third deck almost mirror it almost exactly here 24 soldiers almost exactly each one with their bunk and storage area as well one more time and you also have roof, roof access here which you can kind of like look out to the countryside also, you can kind of look at the king and uh, see him speak. We'll go up there in a minute. Um, uh, you also have a great view of the outside world, and you can shoot a pig. Can you shoot a pig? I don't know. I'm having way too much fun with this. There we go. And damn. All right, we did it. You can also see the, the party deck. Uh, out from from up here as well you kind of look down and it's almost directly below you those guys are still there look the bar closed like five hours ago guys okay so from here you can also go to uh, the office areas which is also accessible by a uh, stairwell 
that is at the back of the castle as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go down and show you guys that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and this ha these two hallways right here basically go to the back of the castle. And let me get rid of the spiders here real quick. I'm at such a bad shot. Ah. All right, so basically what I set these up for are base these are basically uh, uh, offices that people can set up for like government or like business uh, opportunities. Maybe there's a lawyer who set up, sets up shop here or maybe a manager of one of the shops back down there. This is like this is like your uh, managing area for like at the McDonald's that you should set down there. They're still here. What the I don't know, I'm just going to be shooting at these guys, all videos, I guess, you know, everything like that. So there's like uh, two smaller offices and one bigger office, and there's kind of like a spill out area over here that you can kind of set up like conference tables at, and you can kind of like go out here and look at the pretty scenery. Obviously, I want to shoot at the pig or something like that. Nope, I'm not going to waste your time, though. <clears throat> uh... But uh, there's another like deck full of offices here, and then once you get up here, this is basically the government stairwell that I was like talking about. You got you've got basically this roof access over here. You can kind of see these are the chimneys that I was talking about, where the fireplaces or the inter internal heating is down there, but uh, everything vents out uh, up uh, through these chimneys and stuff like that. And then you get to the major portion. This is basically where the best and the brightest of the soldiers hang out because they are tasked with guarding the king. The king. Uh, the officers don't really get as good of accommodations as the other officers, though. But that's okay because they get the honor of guarding the king. These are more. These are more soldier bunks. We we get to have twenty another seventy two soldiers here. And uh, each deck here on this inner like section here, basically, you can walk out no matter what level you are and kind of take a look at things. Obviously, the the view isn't quite as view, uh, good out here because you've got this massive little column holding up everything. But uh, when you get up here, this one actually also has an unfortunate uh, circumstance. Uh, as you can see, this one is actually cloud level, so... When the clouds intersect here, you can hardly see it. It's like being in fog, basically. So these guys have to sleep in fog sometimes when they're when they're hanging out in this place. So but you get a nicer view of the the outside lands from this here, and obviously with the top uh, section here, you've got more soldiers and a much better view of the uh, of the outside here in the back of the castle. And then, all right, you get, also get windows that you can see the party deck in the front of the castle with. That's always nice. Put that in the back of the head. Right like that. And this basically is the palace. This is where the king ha hangs out and everything like that. His assistants can, like, hang out here and, um, you know, uh, watch their king from up here. Uh, there are the nicest accommodations in the castle here. You've got um, basically two bedrooms that have the the most spacious and has the they have the best uh, kind of cleaning arrangements over here. A nice little L-shaped couch here that you can kind of att uh, accommodate guests with. Um, and then the apex of all this is basically the throne, uh, which is that's a nice throne, isn't it? But this place basically lights up when it's dark. And the king sits here and he can deal with his subjects uh, with the problems over here. And then um, you can step out here and speak to you. They're still here. Oh, my goodness. All right. You can speak to the, your subjects from here and, and basically tell them what's what. Tell them how great the kingdom is and stuff like that. And how you really don't like people staying out beyond the the 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. like uh, limit for alcohol and stuff like that. These guys are drunk. Um, the only thing that I did not keep uh, like um, symmetrical here are the windows. 
obviously the left the right side the north side are are what that's the left side actually but that's the north side they're blue and the south side is red and we've got our very own kitchen here with our very own cleaning supplies and preparation tables and ovens and our very own freezer and you can have a great view out the back surprisingly though the king doesn't have the best view of of the castle that would be reserved for the guards who are tasked with uh looking out uh long range over the castle to see if there's any trouble going on and that's why i built this perch over here going all the way up here and as you can see you've got a nice great view of everything outside the castle in all directions plus or minus a few feet if they're too close obviously you can't see them but in any case that is the castle that is the tour of the castle hope you guys liked it here's a nice outside view of it i'm going to i'm going to pan around it and uh, show you it while talking about things let me show you a night one actually time time set night and you can see how pretty is it is during nighttime and everything like that so that's the castle this is going to this is actually the the last um, video i'm going to make in minecraft for a while um, I have a series going on that I started on Tuesday with Mandagon, but I'm always up for suggestions as to what games uh, people would like me to play. Um, I'm going to announce this channel soon on my main channel, so if you guys want to see other comments, uh, they will soon. Once again, I'm trying to build up the channel a little bit, so there's a little bit more than nothing going on when people actually start subscribing if they do they don't have to subscribe but um i would uh, definitely like it if they do uh but uh yeah let me know exactly how you felt about this video what i could work on obviously gaming is not my first thing uh, obviously royalty free music is but uh let me know how you felt about this and uh, we'll go from there and thank you very much for watching appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time